Hello. It is the 2nd of January and we have some sort of heat wave or something because right now it is 53 degrees outside, which is crazy for January 2nd. So you may be wondering why I didn't post any videos while we had that huge snowstorm. Well, the reason is, is because every day it was between one degree and I think the windshield was like one, like minus 30 or something like that. So whenever I bring my camera outside, it would just kill the battery immediately. So there was no way of recording. And finally, over the last few years, it just started to warm up. Like it was 16 degrees, 17 degrees, but finally in the last like three or four days, it finally warmed up. So for us, things that have happened, a lot of bucketing water in those couple days, in probably about a week and a half. And we also opened this up for these guys. That fence kind of fell down a little bit, so we opened this up for them and Sadie is living up. She lo she's living up there for like a couple weeks while we fixed this. But we couldn't fix it because everything was frozen. So I think in the next couple days we're gonna start to fix that up. ground corn for the pigs to bulk them up because they go to slaughterhouse here and I think six or seven days. So one thing I never did get to talk about, was, well I guess I just haven't had the heart to talk about it yet, and that is Otis. You probably have noticed that Otis hasn't been in the vlogs for a bit now. And the reason is, unfortunately, that Otis passed away about a month ago now. He just slowly started not doing as good. He was weak and he wouldn't eat. And mind you, he was 15, so he was, he was older. And unfortunately, we brought him in the house to give him a couple of good last days. And he died. He passed away a couple weeks ago now. So it's unfortunate, but we know that Otis had a long and happy life here on the farm. So that makes us happy to know that he had a good life. But we realized that we needed a new barn cat because, well, as you can see, there's a lot of feed in here. So, so it'd be really easy for mice to get in here and then it can spread bacteria and other sicknesses to all of our other animals. So we realized we needed to get a cat, a new one. So this is Jethro. He's the new barn kitty. He comes out here during the day and patrols the barn. And at night he goes in the building because he's still too small to be out here. Him and Chasey are okay friends. You can see the goats, they're saying hello. So it really is sad about Otis, but like, again, like I said, he had a nice, happy and healthy life. Happy little pigs. Look at how many chickens slept onto the coop. Honestly, I don't even blame you guys. It was so warm last night.
In a past video, I talked about all the supplements that I give my chickens and why I give them to them. So you guys can go check that video out if you're curious about all the different minerals that I put in my feed. Please need blood in. Who said it's hard to herd cats never was able to herd chickens. Because they have no idea what they're talking about. Chickens are a lot harder to herd sometimes. What do you guys think? All good? Awesome. Look how deep that mud is. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, it's water, not feed, huh? I think it's food, but it's not. It's just water. They got all kinds of food up there. They really like the straw because most of the time I can have like a little seeds and stuff that they'll eat. It's so funny. There you go. What's nice about the pigs is the pigs will also spread it. So it's wonderful. I have to do a little less work and it gives them something enjoyable to do. So I wanted to make like an end of the year video, just talking about some of my favorite YouTube moments and stuff, but uh, wasn't going to be done by the end of the year so it could be about a week or two but let me know if you guys still want me to put it out so tink is still eating her breakfast but when she's done she'll demolish these flakes of straw and spread them everywhere I gave this bucket to Tink when everything was frozen. So I would like set it in there and she could drink the water out of it. And if she needed more, I'd give it to her. And I would just put it in there and then she'd drink it while I went and got her food. And she got it really muddy one of the last days of when everything was frozen. So I had to clean it all off. Can you say goodbye to everybody? So thanks for everybody who came along this morning as we did the chores. I have to go get this video edited up and I wanna go eat some breakfast myself. And then uh, I have to plan my next video. So hopefully I can get that out by the end of the week, this next one. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.